Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And today, it's a bit different. I'm back from New Zealand, back in sunny Suffolk, and um, back to do some more filming. So um, I've been kindly had this Corvus Terrain DX4 Pro EPS um, buggy um, by Mars Adry. Check them out, they do Merlots and Navicorvus buggies, which I hadn't heard of until um, I was able to get a demo of one. Such an amazing bu uh, buggy. Um, lots of good things you can do with it. Um, for us, you sort of think, well, you might as well just get a truck uh, rather than one of these. But how small and versatile they are, it's amazing with, uh, with, uh, with what you can do with them. It's diesel as well, they've got a petrol one. And I think they're coming out with an electric one as well. So um, that's pretty cool. Um, so down on the shoot and things, it's been so handy. We've been moving wood with it. And um, just how small and nimble it is, um, you can get into places where, where, uh, where with a truck, you just get really, well, the whole truck will be scratched straight up. Whereas this is so small and nimble, you can just get straight in there. And the ground clearance is amazing, but anyhow, I'll turn the camera the other way around. I'm filming on my phone, sorry about that, but um, couldn't find a GoPro, so a bit annoying, but hey ho. So now looking at the front camera, we'll talk about some of its features. So the first thing is the ground clearance. It is so high up. The springs on here are uh, adjustable, and on the back here, it's actually got disc brakes which is a bit different but uh just interesting really and um yeah the ground clearance so like stumps in the woods and things is so so easy just to go straight over them and the chunky tires on them um also easy maintenance is another thing i've actually got a post-it note here which i wrote down things i've found so far which is something good to talk about maintenance wise so you've got um your water um not your water your window washer just easy access and also for the coolant as well and you go straight down there to the radiator as well and you can actually get a tool not a toolbox like a box which you put in here so you can chuck all your whatever rubbish you've got to put in it um may it be i know spray cans whatever you can chuck it straight in in the front maybe your lunch bag so if you're going on a day's work with it, you can chuck your bag and bag of things in there and it'll be straight in, nicely covered. And um, no one really thinks about it. And also down here, you've got really good storage as well. Cubby holes in there. So things like if you're a sheep farmer or whatever, you can put your cans of spray in there. Uh, I'm not sure what it can be, but anything can go in there. And another cool thing is you can wash it straight out. So you can pressure wash the whole thing, clean it right out. Maybe it's a really wet day. You've been off-roading somewhere. It's covered in mud. You pressure wash it straight in there. It's got the drain holes and it'll just get, yeah, lovely and clean straight away. Um, the caps here, um, it's facing on the angle. You can't really get much rubbish sort of stuck in there. It's not facing like down so you don't get grit and stuff which will just go straight in the tank, which is another handy thing. Um, and the turning radius on it is amazing as well, I've noticed. Just how well you can turn on it. Um, they do different versions of these. This is the one with no window, so it's sort of like a nice summer spec. But I don't know why you'd need doors. Um, just for farm use, this is, this is great, really. And it comes with the window wiper as well, window washer. Um, yeah. And the raised snorkel here, so it's quite, not sure if you can see that. Uh, so you can, all the dust and water you can go, well, you just know it won't go straight in there. As it's so high up, there's two each side. That's a pretty cool feature. I was talking to Mark when he dropped it off about that. It's just, I sort of noticed it and I thought, oh, is that the air intake there? And yes, it is. So uh, pretty cool. Um, it's 24 horsepower as well. And you can get about half a ton on the back here. So, and what I like about the back, this is just so it doesn't get scratched at the bottom, but um, normally you have all the plastic just 
sitting out here, whereas this is a solid still. And uh, the lights are so high up as well. I mean, you're not going to back into a stump or something and whack them off. Um, yeah. I sort of look at it like a sort of all Land Rover sort of Defender. Um, you, there's a little lever here. Lift it straight up. And you're straight into the engine bay. You can actually get it uh, electric as well. But it's not that. It doesn't take much effort just to hit that lever and um, lift it straight up. Dipstick straight there. Really handy to get to with maintenance I've found. You've got your fuel filter straight there. It's all just simple. I mean, you haven't got to go underneath things just to find something, it's just straight there and that's what you want. Something easy in life. Um, you can get a dog box, I think, on the back as well. There's all sorts of specs you can get with it. Um, I was talking about getting a sprayer on the back. You can actually get a sprayer, which will go on the back of it. Um, but there's just all sorts of things you can do for uh, spray margins around paddocks and things. So yeah, it's an excellent buggy so far. Really have liked it. You can run it on red diesel. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just well built. It's 40 miles an hour as well. So I think it's about 60K. Pretty quick. And what I found is just, easy like you can just jump in it and go it's just one of those things is no doors straight in straight to go and get some parts so we ran it to go and get some parts i even went to tesco in it just as we didn't have another vehicle available and you just go straight in straight out you might get some funny looks but still it's just so handy but anyway so there's obviously two passenger seats in here they're both adjustable on here so you can push them forward or back Depending, how, depending on how tall you are. I'm quite a big person and I've found it to be plenty of room in there. So uh, yeah, that's good. It's got four wheel drive here and diff lock. And then you've got neutral, oh, neutral reverse and high and low. Um, it's got a nice sort of sporty steering wheel, sort of racing steering wheel and indicators and lights and things. It's quite good for shooting as well. Not on this spec, but you can get on other specs and this window so the front window will actually fold out like to here and you can actually shoot with a rifle so let's see you're shooting rabbits it's very handy as well so i'll pop into it more storage holders down there for your cups and drinks and phones and things and um, so to start it all you do is turn this little key put your foot on the brake i'm wearing crocs it's, i think it's about 32 degrees today no it's not i think it's about 29 too hot for me anyway that's why i'm in the shade anyway so you turn the key holding down the brake hopefully you can hear me and she is going um so yeah i actually filled it up with a full tank when we first got it and it's only gone about three or four bars which is hardly anything i've done i think about 70 miles on it so far you can soon do the miles this is such a handy vehicle so we'll uh, put it into high here give it a bit of rev into high straight away handbrake here seat belt on like so and we're good to go you've got your indicators here left right and your hazards there so we'll go it's pretty quick makes a bit of noise but i hope you can hear me give it a drive around here we'll go into the woods so you can actually see how nimble it is and it's not very heavy at all I can't actually remember what the weight is just on its own but um, in the winter time for checking the uh, feeders and things you're hardly gonna make a scratch so here we're going into one of the woods. There's a few tree stumps I've just gone over. So smooth. Um, and you can put about half a ton in the back, so you can put a fair few bags of wheat in, wheat in the back. 
shame I haven't got the GoPro, as I could actually show you um, what the uh, front, su front suspension is actually doing, as I would put a GoPro on the side there. so handy so we're now in the wood um, sort of the green really does make it look apart I think for this sort of job um, I actually just put the lights on here but really it's just it's hard to explain you definitely need to put yourself in the demo of one of these I've driven a John Deere one, and to be honest, this Corvus has just been amazing. So much better than a John Deere, I personally think. Um, just not as loud as well. I found it pretty quiet, which is surprisingly. I was pretty surprised about it. And um, obviously you've got a hook here. This hook, you can actually put it to the front as well. So you can tow from the front and back. Obviously you got your... Light switch here so you can plug your trailer lights in and it's just proper simple it's just simple that's what I've liked about it so simple but uh, no and a great buggy highly recommend it uh, I'm not just saying that um, I haven't really driven many bugs only a John Deere and this so it's all new to me but I'm very happy with it just about to see it, so sort of kind of camouflaged with the trees there. Let's see what it's like from this angle. Another good thing about this model, it's got power steering on it, so the steering's so light and easy. So I've just come up on this hill here where this game cover's been drilled, just to have a look at it. And um, I've obviously drove to the side of it and it's hardly made a mark, you can't even see where it's been. Just so versatile with how light it is. Um, hardly makes a mark. It'll be interesting to see what it's like in the winter time as well, where we're trying to cart wheat about in the wet. Whereas with the trucks, we make so much ruts and things, whereas these I don't think you would. So um, yeah, just another little thing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video of the buggy. Sorry it's not been that long. Um, just been having so much fun with it. Um, it's amazing what you can do with it. And um, hopefully catch you in another video, uh, which might be, should be harvest soon, not long guys. So yeah, anyway, I'll catch you in a bit. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos to come. Thank you.